So with Withering Waves releasing yesterday, I thought I would give you guys my first impression from the perspective of an MMO player who has been playing MMOs for 16 plus years now. I've always felt the urge to get into the gacha, honestly, scene, but no matter how many times I tried, I just couldn't get into the games that existed. However, when I saw Withering Waves combat, the graphics and all that stuff, it totally caught my attention and I thought I would dive into it. I've tried to do a 24 hour stream yesterday, which ended with 20 plus, cause sadly I'm getting old. But uh, joke aside, come check me out on Twitch today as well as I'll be live and diving deeper into the game to see more of the game. But with that out of the way, let's get right into it. So honestly, from the first day of trying the game, my expectations were already high. And I've, I've got to admit, a lot of my expectation has been met. It wasn't all like, positive to be fair there was a bit of negative but let's talk about the positive first obviously the first thing that i must mention is the combat oh lord the combat is so goddamn satisfying man like i was putting in a lot of hours including the fact that there were times where i was time gated like I wasn't able to do the story because I was gated by my level and all that stuff. And I absolutely didn't mind because of the fact that the combat was just so damn fluid and good. And really fun because of how responsive it is. The parry system, the blocks, the evades, all that stuff. It was fantastic. Like, by far one of the best combats I've tried in any game in general, not just in the gacha scene. Not only that, honestly, the second thing is the graphics. The world is just absolutely beautiful. Especially for a gacha game, I did not expect that level of beauty in a world. And myself included, this, the viewers on my stream included, we all were just like talking about how beautiful the world is pretty often, honestly. Like no matter where I was going, no matter what the theme was, it was almost as if every single place in the game was beautiful. Not a single place felt like it was like bad looking. Maybe of course like one in a million, but overall it was just fantastic. Um, another thing that I think I should mention is the fact that the game is very generous right off the bat. Obviously, granted, there are some events ongoing that will not exist in the future, but regardless, even outside of these events, I feel like the RNG in this game is pretty good, and also the amount of pulls you get is pretty decent as long as you're doing your stuff in the game, like your dailies, your weeklies, uh, your exploration, your questing, all that stuff. You get a, like, a load of pulls to get the five star characters and even as a full free to player i didn't even spend a single penny day one i already got two five star characters which in my opinion from my experience from other gachas that i've played like star rail or genshin impact or whatever it may be that is big like that is really big i even have some people that i know that got three stars even uh, three five stars even on day one fully free to play so i think honestly that also adds to the fun because the game just offers you a good amount of five stars early on very easily as long as you put in the time and the effort and at the same time the four stars as well felt insanely good in some cases i even enjoyed the four star characters more than the five stars some are even really good to the point that i think they're even on par or better than some of the five stars so that also added to the fun of the game so that you don't feel like oh i don't have five stars i can't do much no even with four stars you can easily clear everything and they are really powerful like man some of them are insanely powerful so all of these things combined honestly like added to my expectations quite a lot i had high expectations to begin with from what people said from the trailers all that stuff but honestly in that category all my expectations have met the combat was insane the graphics are just breathtaking uh, the music honestly was really good as well which i expected because Kuro games are the ones behind punishing career ravens and also the gacha didn't feel too suffocating for a free-to-play player now it wasn't all positive i'm gonna be honest one thing that i need to get off my chest that i think i would like to see change in the future moving forward is the intro of the game the tutorial was fine but after you're done with the tutorial and you start going through your story it felt extremely slow for no reason and i don't mind slow by the way it's more like it was too slow with a lot of gibberish information that are just completely irrelevant in my opinion that just felt like what is this it's taking too long and i'm not really like the things that i'm getting into don't 
feel important. But as I progressed through that initial phase of the story, it started picking up the slack and it was actually getting a lot more interesting and a lot more fun. But that early stage of the game is where like I felt there was a lot of text for no reason. So I would like to see that change in the future. Outside of that, this is something that I think is not necessarily a negative, but I'm going to put it out there anyway, because it might be a negative to some people. You get gated pretty often from the main story. And the reason I say I don't think it's negative personally is because it allows you to take you the time to explore the world and do the side quests and do your dailies and also like experiment with different things and learn your characters. I absolutely didn't mind that at all. But I know that to some people like the amount of gatekeeping with the story could be too much because you get it pretty often, especially that there is like a ton of cutscenes in the middle, which I do recommend you watch, by the way. Uh, the cutscenes are extremely long in a lot of the instances, and there's a lot of dialogue happening for the story. So it feels like the time you're actually doing anything in the story and fighting is very minimal. Uh, and then you get gate kept right away. So I feel like that is going to be something that will definitely be a turn off to a few people. But yeah, these are my full honest uh, first impressions of the game. I am honestly looking forward to playing more of it. I absolutely had a blast and I will continue doing so today. So yeah, once again, come check me out on Twitch. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this kind of content. And with that out of the way, until the next one, peace.